So finally, I was able to build my 1060 rig. By far, this was the simplest and easiest build I've done today. 12 Galax 1060 Gigabyte EXOC White Mining Rig running on Simple Mining OS. So let me start now with how I built it. So I am reusing my previous components, Intel G4400 8GB RAM stick, 8GB USB drive, the motherboard I am using is the Firestar TB250 BTC Pro 12 GPU mining board, and two 1200W server power supplies. To power up the motherboard using one power supply, I'll need to connect it with a component called Pico. Since the CPU and fan have already been used, I'll need to already apply thermal paste keep the CPU from overheating. You can remove the thermal paste using isopropyl alcohol, 70% solution will do, and a lint-free cloth. In applying the thermal paste, a pea-sized amount should do, but for purposes of experiment, I read somewhere that an X-shape offers the best cooling and coverage possible. So let's try that out. So after applying the thermal paste, next up is installing the CPU fan. Make sure it's locked tight and don't forget to connect the CPU fan power connection. Install the 8GB RAM stick. So this is called the Pico. I believe it uses 12 volts from the power supply and can generate about 130 to 150 watts of power. It has a 24 pin, 8 pin, Molex and SATA connections. Because the Pico only has one Molex connection, I'll use a Molex splitter to connect to two of the Molex slots of the motherboard. Initial setup should look something like this. I've connected my DVI cable to the monitor. I also placed a motherboard speaker to indicate if there are any problems with the motherboard and the power pin connection to turn on the system. The reason why an 8GB USB drive is needed is because this is where you'll save a copy of the latest BIOS. Go to BIOSTAR's website to download the copy. To flash it, go to the BIOS settings and hit F12. Select the file and press enter. Once done, Enter the BIOS settings again and make sure it's running the updated BIOS. Go to chipset and just let the TCIe link speed set to auto. What you'll need to do is enable the internal graphics, set the primary display to internal graphics or IGFX, max load set to 3.5G and enable 4G. Go to boot settings, enable CSM support, save and restart. Before proceeding, you can delete the BIOS file in the USB drive and make space for simple mining OS. Installing it is very easy and you'll just need the same USB drive to store your OS and run the rig. Go to simplemining.net and download the applicable OS and Etcher software. Once downloaded, run the Etcher software and select the OS file, select where to flash the OS, and click flash. Wait a couple of minutes until it's done. Next up, time to set up the video cards. Galax 1060 6GB EX OC white version. These cards have higher base and boost clocks, and prices are relatively cheaper compared to other brands available. To house these cards, I ordered a 12 GPU mining rack from an online seller here in the Philippines called Mining Rack by Abby. Other than the build quality, what I like about her racks, no pun intended, is that you can customize a build. I specifically ordered 16 pans total, one side pushing air in, and the other side pushes air out. This way, there's more free flow of air and hopefully improves the cooling of the video cards. After connecting all of the power connections, risers, and inserting your USB drive containing the simple mining OS, here you'll see that I used an ATX power supply along with the server power supply. This is because the 1070 rig I have has a higher wattage requirement, hence deciding to swap the 1070's ATX power supply with one of the server PSUs. It's time to fire up the system. Just turn on the motherboard and it should run on its own updating the OS and then start mining. All the cards have micron memory and so far these are the most efficient and stable settings I could come up with. Mining Zcash. So 
So that's it for the video. I hope I was able to help you out with your mining rig builds or ideas. If you have suggestions on how to improve the hash rates and efficiency, please feel free to key them in at the comment section below. Please give the video a thumbs up, check out my other videos. If you like what you watch, subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Happy mining!